Now let's move on to the next page in the catalog manager, which is this page that allows you to add new catalogs. All right, now add new catalogs has two tabs here. One is for feed settings and the other one is for creating the catalog. And we split it out like this because feed settings is kind of like a template and you can just kind of take a new sheet off the template every time you create a new catalog. So every time you create a new catalog, and there are different reasons why you might want to do this, which we're going to go over in just a minute. Um, you can set you can set the settings for this new catalog that you're going to create, and then these settings will be saved for the next catalog, and then you can uh, do it all over again. Okay, so it just simply saves you a little bit of time here setting everything up from scratch. All right, so. Coming back to the reason why you might want to create multiple catalogs. Well, one reason might be that you might want to um, split test or taste it, test the difference between a product, uh, a catalog that uses product images and let's say not include all variants. And then another catalog where you want to use all variants. And by the way, for that format, we do recommend that you stick with a variant image because otherwise we'll just have a bunch of products in there that all will show the same image, namely the product image, right? So if you select product image here and you select include all variants, then each of the variants will have will be using the same image, which is the product image, right? So, okay, so let's just say we're going to do this to take this format for an alternate alternative catalog so that uh, we can just split test if you know which image works better. Another good reason would be to, to create another catalog for another pixel, let's say for your backup pixel. So for in this case, we've already created this first catalog for the backup pixel, but let's just say, um, let's just say we wanted to uh, create one for this, but let's just create it for this one. All right, that's just an alternative catalog here. Now, I, I can set, save feed settings. Now we can just move on to the catalog name. All right, so I'm gonna go um, add it. And this one is gonna be, uh, I'm just gonna put today's date again in here so it's easier to filter it later and create catalog. And congratulations, you've successfully created a catalog. That's awesome. So here we are done. Okay, so that's all there is to uh, adding a new catalog. Um, you could also, well, it, that's, I, I usually don't recommend changing Google uh, product categories. That's really not an important setting in Facebook at all. Um, they want you to have a Google product category set for each uh, product. And, and they give you a warning if, uh, if that's missing, but it's not all that important uh, that is very differentiated. So just, you know, uh, select a, as a default, a category that fits for most of your products and that should be fine. All right, let's uh, head on over to the catalog list. Now these go very fast and that the main reason for that is that um, they are really small, right? So they're teeny tiny catalogs. Uh, if you have a little bit larger catalogs or even like really, really big catalogs, it does take a little bit longer for them to upload. And then it also takes a little bit longer for Facebook actually to show the uploads and process the feed internally in Facebook. All right, so now the one that we have uploaded here is uh, just created is this one. And let's just head on over into the catalog and see what we see over here. So again, these uh, this catalog has four products because we're showing only the front facing variant. So each product only has one variant. And here you can see an example for how the product image is a different image that's used for the ad than the variant images, right? This here is the same product. In this example, it's the product, it's the variant image that is showing. And in this example, it's the product image that's showing, right? Great, so have fun using the catalog features in Trackify. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, let us know in the in-app chat and um, we'll help you out.